right, well, we drove about four-ish hours today, filled up once with gas. Uh, we're here at, I think it's Wabansee or Wabansee State Park. Uh, it's a pretty small campground, but you know, a decent level spot. We've got uh, electric and there's a shower house, oops, sorry, right down there. So we're pretty close. Parked right next to the campground host who seems like really nice people. And uh, we're just gonna be here for the night and then we're on to another part of this journey. So we got the RV all set up. As you can see, it was a bit of a toasty day driving. We realized about an hour away from here that we should try and turn on the generator and run our rooftop air conditioner. We're gonna do more of that tomorrow, I'm sure, as the weather continues to be pretty toasty, but we have everything blasting right now. We're on 30 amp shore power over there. And Sarah and I, as many of you know, love inexpensive champagne as ways of celebrating our little milestones. So we're having a little bottle of champagne and we're gonna uh, make a great dinner. Sarah's gonna make a great dinner. And then we're just gonna kick back and relax. I'm gonna take a nice cold shower and get some clean clothes on. And we're gonna have a great night here in camp and just start celebrating this adventure. So uh, I'll kind of show you around the park a little bit. Remember kids, only you can prevent forest fires. Old Smokey the Bear. So for those of you that may be curious about what state park campground bathroom facilities look like, this one's really nice and clean and it's got lockable showers. You can come in here, I would suggest wearing a pair of shower shoes, right? But you've got places to hang stuff, a little shelf, and then plenty of room to do anything else you'd need to do. This is an air conditioned or probably got heaters, but for the most part, pretty simple, but effective. A few hours later. By the way, you guys probably can't see it, but there's a couple of dumpsters right here. Sarah and I took the dogs for a walk earlier and one of the fattest giant friggin' raccoons I've ever seen in my life came jumping out of that thing and scurried around the corner. It was pretty funny. A few moments later. Here's the trash panda, there he goes. Look at the size of this dude. <laughs> oh, we got a square off. He's mad. What you do? Oh, there's two of them. There's a whole family of them. There's a bunch of little guys on the back. They're all sneaking in. Look at them. So, at home, I am not afraid to take a 30 or 40 minute shower. But uh, in parks, a lot of times the water usage is restricted. So at this particular park, you had to push a button, you get about 30 seconds of hot water and it would encourage you to not go crazy with your consumption. And instead of using 30 to 40 minutes of hot water like I would maybe a couple times a day at home, I mean, I love to take a good long hot shower. I, um, I took a two minute shower. I mean, it took me longer after I was using soap and everything, but because of the way that this park is set up, you'd be respectful. You use a little bit of water, you get a good shower. Water was great, the pressure was awesome, the hose was awesome, or the, the faucet was great. And what a great shower. Back to the RV. All right, morning of day two. And we are just taking the dogs out for a walk, get them kind of a little bit of energy out. Fortunately, our chocolate lab's got a bit of a limp in his shoulder, so taking it a little easy on him, but wanted to get them potted and all that. And we are getting ready to load up the bus and head out. On to the next stop in Lake Mitchell, just on the other side of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We're gonna cruise right through Omaha and probably right past Sioux Falls, but we'll make a couple stops along the way. Hopefully we can show you some of the process. We've made it to Sioux City, Iowa. Making a little stop at Walmart, picking up a couple things that I need that we forgot at home, or that I forgot, and back on the road here shortly.
what's up there campers welcome to mitchell south dakota that's right we've made it hundreds of miles already in just a couple of short days and we're at this absolutely beautiful campground right kind of off the main part of the town it's a small town but there's this beautiful lake and later on today we're going to go out and do some swimming and have a little dinner first let our dinner settle and then we're going to take the dogs down to the lake i'm definitely going to take a dip and uh just an absolutely beautiful spot you can kind of see where i'm walking doris is up there but look at this oh 37 dollars a night i want to say it was i'll show you around the campground a little bit like i did wabansi state park yesterday got the big hat going frank you know what's up tim you know what's up look at this place whoa i lost the big hat look at this place Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, the state park that Sarah and I stayed at on our first trip out to Colorado on our first night. I'll post some photos somewhere in here. But look at this place. Really pretty. And back up to the campground. Little spots down here. Really nice. I'd like maybe that much pork. Huh. Oh, right on the pan. Blake, good job. It's not a beautiful presentation. Like it's stage fright. Okay. All day. Change those Alright, well we had a delicious dinner. We're gonna hang out here in the bus a little bit, or at least I am. I'm pretty cooked from today. It was a long drive with a lot of wind. We're gonna go out and explore a little bit later. Unfortunately, one of the things that we found out about the lake and going down to the swimming beach is that there's a pretty strong presence of the green blue algae, which is really dangerous for dogs. So we will not be taking the dog swimming tonight. I will not be going swimming tonight. Instead, I think I'll probably just take a nice cold shower, cool things down. But, you know, it's a pretty nice night in the camper. Gonna have a couple of beers, hang out, and just decompress from today. The, the wind coming across South Dakota was pretty, or through South Dakota was pretty considerable. And the old girl, you just, it takes a lot of wrestling and a lot of mental concentration to have it be a safe thing to drive. So, um, you know, although it's not physically that demanding for only four, four and a half hours, it's a lot of like mental focus, which as many of you know, it can be pretty draining. So uh, we're just gonna kind of take it easy tonight and enjoy ourselves. So Sarah had us come down to the water to watch the sunset and she is bound and determined to tell me that the Weather Channel told her the sun is setting in 20 minutes and that was about 20 minutes ago and you probably can't see but the sun is still pretty high above the horizon which means that there's probably about 30 minutes before the sun's actually going to set but here you go. Come here. Good, no. Hey, hey, sit. Josie, sit. Oh, good boy. Go. Go, Deacon. It's also just absolute bug city out here. <laughs> Pretty lake, though. So, I just looked at the weather app, and sunset is in about 30 minutes. So, here's how I know that that's the case. Here's a little trick for you guys. Let me see if I can focus in on the sun. Basically, you hold your hand out at arm's length and however many fingers, two, three, four, one, the sun is above the horizon. So for me, that's roughly two. You add 15 minutes for every finger above the horizon. So that puts our sunset in roughly 20 to 30 minutes or so before it dips down below the tree line. All right, so you can see the sun is going down. Bugs are swarming, but they're not bitey, so it's not that big a deal. Walking back up to the RV. Probably gonna hang out and watch a couple fly fishing films. Maybe have another one of these cool Miller lights. And then an early bedtime for me, because I didn't sleep very well last night. It always takes me a few days to get settled into the bus. So hopefully I get better sleep tonight. We're headed for the wall tomorrow.
Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope your morning is off to a smashing start. Well, I got my coffee. There's Doris. Look at her. It's gorgeous outside. There's like no humidity. It's nice and crisp. If I was going to be out here, I'd probably want some sort of a fleece on. Excuse me. Um, just sitting out here looking over the lake, enjoying the sunrise. Oh, so glad to be out here. It's not humid and muggy and sticky like it is in St. Louis. St. Louis poops, I still love you. Peeps, I still love you. But very glad to be out here. We're headed for the Wall today, which is a pretty historic town in South Dakota. Kind of known for this huge, massive drugstore called Wall Drug. They still make five cent cups of coffee and uh, free ice waters. It's like 70,000 square feet. There's like two million guests a year or something like that, which is pretty wild. Um, but next to that or close to it is this place. Uh, the reason it's called the wall is because literally it goes sink and then just drops off and we're going to be hopefully boondocking there tonight. Uh, so we're pretty excited about heading over there. It's going to be a little bit toasty today, but the weather should drop down into the 50s tonight. So theoretically, uh, we should be able to boondock tonight. And if not, there is a campground not too far away that we could go plug into if it's too hot. So that's the idea. We're going for it. Going to have a great day. hours later. Well boys, we're not in Kansas anymore. There he goes. Easy. Hey, 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 hey. Yozy. Come here. Yozy, come here. Pinnacle Overlook here in Badlands National Park and the first national park that we've been to in quite a while. We used to try and knock one off at least one a year but now uh, with COVID and everything it's obviously been a delay so first one in a while. Excited to check this out. Striping that as well. So 
one of the things you've just got to remember about national parks or really anywhere you go when you're traveling is either A, allow for more time, B, have some way to uh, you know keep yourself entertained, make sure you got plenty of gas in your car, things like that, because there are going to be unexpected happenings along the way, and it's just something you kind of got to deal with, and if you let it really freak you out or get you down, you're going to have a long, long trip. So uh, certainly wasn't what we were hoping for in our last stop here in Badlands, but it is what it is. We're turned around and we're heading back out of the park and back to our campsite for the day. All right, well, we are pushing off from the wall or from the Badlands area of South Dakota. We've been boondocking here for a couple of days. It's Thursday now. So uh, we are on to the next destination, which is right around Sturgis, South Dakota. And then from there, we're pushing on into uh, Wyoming. We're gonna check out the Mount Rushmore National Monument today, just for a little bit. I know it's not a big deal, but we're gonna go check it out anyway. And then we're on into Wyoming over the next couple of days. So pretty exciting to be starting this leg of the journey and uh, hopefully getting over to Devil's Tower Monument as well as to, um, what's the National Forest again? Bighorn National Forest. We're gonna do some boondocking there as well. So should be a fun couple of days and uh, quite an adventure. Well, campers, we are here at Bulldog Creek Campground, uh, just outside of Sturgis, old Sturgis, South Dakota, which many of you know for the big motorcycle rally every year. There's even some really cool motorcycles here in the campground, and we're gonna be here for a few days. We're gonna be spending some time here before we push over into Wyoming. We're just kind of killing some time and waiting out this really, really hot weather. They've got inexpensive campsites. I think they're around 30 bucks, and they've got full hookups, so we've got water and sewer and electric and everything. Old Doris is just tucked in. It's a really simple site so as you can see it's basically just a bunch of really simple grass areas um, but this is gonna be a great place for us to kind of post up shop I've got good internet we can watch TV I can work we can do everything that we need to do until we need to push on into the next part of our journey so just kind of uh, spending some time here we've got the bus all set up we've got some uh, tethers set out and they've got kind of a cool area over here with a small creek and a little bit of a kind of a um, I don't even what you didn't even call it, but just kind of like a remote access spot where we can go and play with the dogs and throw some balls and stuff like that. There's a nice big shower house. I haven't been up to explore it yet, but for 30 bucks a night on our journey, this is a pretty nice spot. As you can see and probably hear, the highway isn't too far away, so it's not like it's super remote and scenic, but at the same time, this is pretty fantastic on the very far edge of South Dakota before we jump into Wyoming. So I thought I'd give you a little run around of what we're doing here. I'm trying to kind of give you an update as we go so you can kind of get a feeling for what life on the road is like. And I'm going to start in the next couple of series, in the next couple of weeks, start showing you more of our daily activities, what it takes to set up the RV, how we cook food, how we do our laundry, what the setup process and the teardown process and how we move from spot to spot, even how we find some of those spots. And I'll give all that credit to my wife. Sarah does all of the research and really helps us find all these great campgrounds. She considers my needs for work and uh, the weather and everything as we're going. So just thought I'd kind of give you the update of where we're at in this week. It's Thursday, so we've been on the road now for about five days and uh, should be a really good week next week. We're gonna be jumping over into Wyoming, which I'm super pumped about. Well, happy Friday. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Sturgis, although it is going to rain a little bit later today. We're outside of Sturgis, I should say. Um, going to have a lovely day, just mainly getting some work done, doing some bitty editing on this video. And hopefully just have a nice day in the bus here. We may do a little bit of exploring in the Jeep, but for the most part, we're just going to hang out here and camp and kind of bear down to the next couple of days of smoking hot weather. So should be a... Uh, Nice day here in camp. Well, 
I've had a number of calls today, and they've all gone really well. It's been nice to have good enough Wi-Fi here to do that, or not Wi-Fi, but cell phone service. And now I'm just making this walk up to the bathroom. All right, so here is the shower facility slash bathroom here at Bulldog Creek. Walk in, you've got some sinks here, you've got your stalls, quick urinal. Uh, we did notice that these partitions are awfully high. I mean, this is at like mid-thigh level for me. Uh, and for Sarah, I mean, these are pretty high as far as providing actually any uh, real privacy for you. But otherwise, you know, clean and reasonable facilities. All right, well, we got just a light sprinkle outside so far, but Sarah made these fantastic tacos. We've got some really nice little toppings, got a little tequila going. Just a lovely evening here in the bus. We got the dogs chilling out. Lovely night. Well, we've got our first rain of the trip, as you can see. It's raining fairly hard outside here in the campgrounds. It is supposed to keep up for quite a bit tonight, um, but we are expecting this to die off sometime in the night and then uh, wake up to drier weather tomorrow. So we'll see how this does. Look at this guy. Back up, sit down. Well, this morning marks, officially marks one week of being out on the road. We left at uh, about noon on Saturday last week, and it's about 8 a.m. on Saturday this week. Got the dogs out having their breakfast, getting some potties in, and uh, now it's just about putting them back to bed with Sarah. And then I get to hang out. I may go for a run. I don't know. I think today's going to be pretty toasty, so I may uh, just do a little few laps around this campground and take it easy, we'll see. Well, we stopped in the town of Spearfish, South Dakota, which is pretty close to Sturgis. It's just a few miles down the road. We just went and did a little bit of an art festival and Sarah bought some pickles. Uh, art festivals aren't typically my thing, but it was a nice little spot to stop and just walk around a little bit, kind of see some people and uh, break up the day. So back to the car, maybe find some place to grab a beer and then back to the bus eventually. End of the evening, about nine o'clock. We're just taking the dogs for a little walk, and then gonna head off to bed. <laughs> 